Good morning, viewers, and welcome to our fifth program for grade 10 and 11 agricultural science learners. Today, we will learn about tools and fittings used in water supply. At the end of today's lesson, you should be able to identify and explain the use of the following tools. Pulley, block and tackle, pipe spanners, and vice grip. Identify and explain the uses of the different fittings used in water installations. Pipe, nipple, nipple adapter, T-piece, reducer, elbow joint, and tap washers. The tool that we start with today is a pulley. A pulley is used to lift heavy pipes and pumps that would be too heavy for one or two humans to lift. It makes heavy lifting work seem easy. The next tool is a block and tackle. A block and tackle is a system of two or more pulleys with a rope or cable threaded between them. A block and a tackle is used to lift or pull a heavy load. Learners easily get confused with a pulley and a block and a tackle. These two pictures show the difference. A pulley has only one pulley, while a block and tackle has two or more pulleys. Let us now look at pipe spanners and a vice grip. Yes, learners. I know what you call a pipe spanner at home. I could almost hear all of you saying its name, but in examination, you have to know the correct English name. A vice grip is used to grab onto things and hold them down. Example, when you are gluing pipes together, you can use a vice grip to hold them until the glue dries. A vice grip can lock, so it will stay in place. Viewers, we now come to a very interesting piece of equipment that any farmer who has water installations should have. This is a pipe nipple. If a farmer has pipe nipples of different sizes, he or she can fit a lot of other fittings together. This is usually used with galvanized fittings. Many of us have plastic pipes at home that we want to fit together to water our vegetable gardens. There are many fittings that we can use with plastic pipes. The first fitting we will look at is the T-piece. Why do you think it is called a T-piece? Of course, it looks like the letter T. A T-piece is used to join pipes in such a way that it sends water in different directions. If you want to send water into a field out of a main pipe, you will also use a T-piece. Maybe you only have a few shorter pieces of plastic pipe that you cannot use. I have a solution for you. You can fix them together with adapters or connectors. I can hear your friend there next to you complaining that he cannot do it because his pipes are not of the same diameter. No problem, friend. We just make use of reducers. The last fitting we will look at is an elbow joint. Maybe your tap is in the front of the house and your garden next to the house. That means that there is a pipe that needs to go around a corner. Do not bend the pipe. There's a better way to solve the problem. You can use an elbow joint to fit two pipes to move in different directions. Lastly, let's look at a problem we all have at home from time to time. The leaking tap. It does not only waste water, it is also very irritating to listen to. But did you know that you can fix it yourself? All you need is a tap washer and you need to know how to open a tap. Lesson Summary A pulley is used to lift heavy pipes and pumps. 
A block and a tackle is a system of pulleys used to lift and pull heavy loads. Pipe spanners hold pipes while working with them. A vice grip grasps and holds things. Pipe nibbles are used to connect fittings. A T-piece joins pipes to send water in different directions. Reducers join pipes of different diameters. Adapters join pipes. Elbow joints join pipes at a corner. A tap washer controls the flow of water in a tap. Viewers, before I sign off, I would like to ask you a few questions to think about. Question number one, state the function of a pipe spanner. Question number two, describe the difference between a pulley and a block and tackle. Question number three, state the function of a tap washer. And that was program five for grade 10 and 11 agricultural science, where we were discussing tools and fitting for water supply. I hope you learned a lot from our lessons and we thank you for being with us and have a lovely time. Thank you. Bye.